Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, back with another vlog. And I just wanted to do another vlog to tell you what uh, is in store for the future for my channel. And basically, um, over the next couple months, my channel is going to be focused on two firearms. Um, and those are the Marlin 795, of course clear, and the Ruger 10-22, also clear, and um, I just recently bought the 10-22, if you haven't seen my review on it, check that out, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that was the last video I did, and uh, the 795, I've had for, I guess a little over a year, and uh, it's been a good firearm. I like it. Uh, it's probably my favorite 22 so far. But anyway, over the next two, three months, uh, a lot of my videos are going to be focused on these two rifles. And that's basically going to be comparing the two. Um, I'm going to do a comparison video com uh, showing the differences and similarities between the two rifles. Um, there's quite a few differences between the two, obviously. And uh, I'm also going to be doing some accuracy videos because uh, part of the whole controversy between Marlin and Ruger is uh, which one is more accurate, you know, um, uh, with just the standard barrels. Um, like this. Uh, most people will say that the Marlin is more accurate, but some people will say that the Ruger is more accurate, so we're going to do some accuracy videos um, at three different distances. I'll hopefully get some good target ammunition for that. So you'll see those videos whenever I get some good target ammunition. Also do just some regular shooting videos with, uh, you know, where I shoot up tin cans and uh, plastic bottles and that kind of stuff. Um, also, with the Marlin, I just, uh, yesterday I just ordered some 25 round Pro Mags for this. Um, and I'll, I'll, t I'll do some videos testing those out, seeing if they work or if they don't work and whether or not I recommend them. Uh, those magazines should be in sometime this week, uh, later in the week. And uh, I'll probably do some videos on that maybe next week. I don't know. The uh, function test on those, mm, probably a few weeks out, but uh, I'll do videos on how easy are they to load if they go into my gun well, that sort of thing. And, um, let's see, I'll also get some magazines for this, for the 1022. Right now I still only have the rotary magazine, which is perfectly fine because the rotary magazines are very good magazines. Um, I'm definitely going to get a few more of those, um, just to have because they're, they're good magazines. And uh, I'll also try to get some BX25 magazines. Those are quite a bit more expensive. They cost about twice as much as the rotary mags. Um, and I also might get myself one of those BX25 X2s, which is basically the BX25, um, it's a double BX25 basically. You know how like the Butler Creek mags could clip together and uh, all you got to do is you know take it out flip it around and put it back in well the BX25 X2 is basically that with the BX25 it's all one magazine it's not uh, you clip them together it is a one magazine well two in one so I might get one of those but that's like like fifty dollars so little expensive, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's what we have in store for the next two or three months. 
uh, depending on how long it takes me to get magazines and ammunition for these two rifles. But uh, so far, my impressions of the 1022 without shooting it is that I really like it. Um, I got it because, well, the 1022 was on my list of guns to get. Um, it's a Ruger, so it's reliable. It's very popular. Um, I like the wood stock, even though this isn't necessarily the best wood stock that they come with. Um, it was a fairly cheap gun, not quite as cheap as the Marlin, but uh, still relatively cheap, um, with a very good track record. And uh, like I said, I've just wanted one, and since this was the 50th anniversary, I thought I'd get myself one this year with the engravings. So, yeah, that's why I got this. Um, of course, other videos you might see in the future is uh, if I ever get my 22 longs and shorts in, we'll do some videos with those with my Henry. Um, and uh, still of those f five guns that I had in that one video on which gun I should get next. Still looking for those, for one of those. Might have a deal on a Durand. I'm not sure how much he wants for it. But uh, sometime over the summer, I'll see if he still has it. I'll see if he would be willing to sell it. Um, other than that, I'll, I'll just go to gun shows, look and see what they got. You know, I've seen Savage 99s at gun shows before, so maybe I'll find one. I see, I've seen a Grand. Um, yeah. I plan on going to a gun show in July, as long as they let me off work. And uh, if I have enough money to buy something, I might buy something. But other than that, uh, that's all I really have for this vlog. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.